Smash like. This past year, I had a reading group. We read a lot of, we read some of the Buddhism, which is why I wanted to talk to you, but we also read Stoicism. Well, there's a lot of neat parallels. Uh, the Stoics also talked about, um, you know, desire and, uh, and mm. you know, not being, not, not trying to attain things which were out of your ability to control, right? And right. being able to understand the difference. And that was what their idea was that that's what leads to suffering, trying to control what we can't control. And only focusing on what we can. But there's so much in the middle that we have partial influence over. Right, right. And that's and that's the area that you really need to work on, right? So and well, and also <laughs> the idea that like even if things aren't like even though you can't control your health to a great degree, you can control it to some degree, but you can't completely control your health you still recognize it is desirable to have good health. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have good health and enjoying it while you have it. So, mm -hmm. so that was the thing. I think a lot of times people get it. Uh, this idea that like, like you were talking about this, the, the phase that uh, Gautama went through where he uh, denied the world and denied, denied its mm -hmm. pleasures. That's, that's, that's an extreme way to go. And maybe you learn a lesson in that, but, it, you can you're you can still um, uh, practice a um, you know this this idea of Zen and and enjoy life's pleasures as long as you understand they're ephemeral mm -hmm. ephemeral they may be addictive and uh, you 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 know but but it's okay to participate in life you know you don't you don't have to like just say well you know I'm going to go and live in the mountain and not mm -hmm. deal with people I mean that's